Yo, what's up everyone? The Sam here, brewing coffee today again with the 1Z Presso X Pro S and a flower child the Genki. Yeah, I don't know. Yesterday I was having a conversation with Dargo, then he was like, hey, you should try doing vertical long form. So here I am making a vertical long form. Uh, not vertical long forms, but just longer videos on YouTube. So, and with that, we'll be done in. So you can probably hear the water boiling, but this is like my favorite um, scale and brewer combo nowadays. For me, this is like the most... Okay, the best thing about this, you can measure the output, the input and stuff. I'm freestyling this, so pardon me if I say anything wrong. And after that, once you're done with this, you can put on your my favorite brewer now. As you can see, right, it auto tears, so it knows what's the weight. So after that, I put this with the taster's coffee. So I'm going to adjust a little bit. Yep. So from here, this is where you start doing all like your, your, your essential prep work, you know. Put like your um, filter paper. I'm using Carfax um, Abaca paper. I find that to be quite good, but I've just gotten my non-woven paper, so that's something that I'll probably start exploring next. Okay, water's boiled. So usually you need to let it rest, like let it like cool down a bit before you start pouring your coffee. So I'll just use this to wash my cup for now. Yeah. Perfect time to make sure it's, it's stuck to all sides. I usually don't wash my papers actually, but you know, in this case, I for for the for the tasters, it does benefit from having like the wash wash part in all, all stuck to the thing. Once I'm done, I pour it away, and then this is the magic part. So once everything is done and ready to go, you tear goes to zero that's when you add your coffee so now I'm doing a 15 grams 220 probably going for 240 to 260 kind of extraction because this is pretty fine so with, with fine with more fine coffees on the CT62 you kind of want to have um, a little bit more water to extract so so for here I'll do a divot and now once you have your your coffee rate which is 15.2 Maybe then you'll start your timer. You will go to zero. Uh-huh. And this is when you start. So it doesn't start counting until you start pouring water. So this is when I start pouring water. I'm going for a really slow pour to 40 grams. To 45, okay. One is to three, so hey, that works out. So I'll let it bloom for like I don't know, 45 seconds. Usually I want to go in and take a sniff, but pardon me. And you smell, hmm, maybe it needs a bit of a longer bloom. So this has been roasted since July, so I'll probably not take that long. So probably about now, I'll start pouring in my mixed amount all the way to 50, 80 grams. I found a lot of success doing a 80 gram, like a 3 pour, but I'll finish off with a really big last pour. So at 50 seconds, I start to go, go for it with a much bigger pour. Into 150, and then all the way in the center. Fast pour, all the way. Once I get to a level 250, maybe 1 is to 70. I'll cut. I'll let it drip. I was doing a lot of um, your slightly longer, say 50, 40, like uh, 100 gram-ish kind of 4-6 um, recipe. But I found a lot more success doing this uh, slightly tighter first, um, first pour and then having a much longer second pour, which gives it a little bit more sweetness and not, not much of that pronounced acidity. And you see the drawdown is still under 130, which is what Jake Hu wants. Something that is slightly below, around the 130 mark. And done. There you go. I have 225 in the cup, which comes up to a 1 is to 15 ratio, which is why I love this. So, time to drink. My favorite mug. Yep. Cheers. Gonna start drinking it. So this Gokenke has been one of like the more challenging coffees I've been trying to brew. 
um, definitely not the easiest to extract which is why when I tried doing a really tight bloom, bloom or wetting phase it, it tend to shine a lot more, it gives a lot of sweetness I probably overshot the water a little bit too much probably I'm going down to somewhere around the 250 or 240 mark but overall still a very pleasant cup still tweaking yep, more coffee content to come peace, love y'all bye